Hey guys, I wanted to go over um, some characteristics of quadratic functions with you. There's just a few things that you'll be looking at. Um, the main things that you'll be looking at would be vertex, um, y-intercept, uh, axis of symmetry, and maximum minimum. All of it's pretty easy. I don't think too much of it should be an issue, um, but you know I'm going to work with you guys on this. So. First example, look at this graph. What is the y-intercept? Um, all you got to do is think about, okay, what's the, the y-axis? Okay, it's right here, right? Okay, quadratic function can only cross the y-axis one time. It crosses right here, so that's easy. The y-intercept is just going to be, in this case, 0. Okay, cool. All right, but it's not asking for the y-intercept on this one. On this one, it's asking, what are the coordinates of the vertex? The vertex is the highest point, so I'm going to go ahead and just trace it up. It's right here. It's at 0, 7. Okay, so I'm just going to count up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So I'm just going to type in 0, 7. And it says that's right. Okay, same thing as last time. What are the coordinates of the vertex? It's even easier because it goes right through the origin, which is 0, 0. So that checks. Okay, now we're back to the y-intercept again. So look at the y-axis, trace it down. It crosses at 0, 0, but it's just asking for the y-coordinate, which is 0. So everything's going pretty good so far. Um, another easy y-intercept is just going to be 0. All right. Now we get to something a little bit different. It's asking, what is the equation of the axis of symmetry? So I'm going to look at this and see that the axis of symmetry goes right down the middle of the graph. That's basically me drawing a dotted line through there. And then I'm just going to look and see, what's the x-coordinate of this line? Well, it's neither to the right nor to the left, it's straight down the middle, straight down 0, so it's going to be x equals 0. I think you'll notice a lot of times on stuff like this, when it's centered around the origin, the answer comes out to be 0 a lot. So we're going to go ahead and type that in. But remember, you also have to put x equals 0. That's the difference between just saying like one number is a point, and then saying x equals 0 is a line of symmetry. So that works. Okay, now we're looking at uh, what is the y-intercept. Well, I'm just going to go up here. Here's my y-axis. Trace it up. Looks like it's got a y-intercept at positive 5. So that works. Okay, what are the coordinates of the vertex? It's a little shifted off this time. So we can just go ahead and trace it over. It's right there. So let's count the coordinates. It's negative 1, negative 2, so negative 2, comma, and then it goes down 1, 2, 3, 4. So it'd be negative 2, comma, negative 4. So your vertex is at negative 2, comma, negative 4. So let's type that in and see if it works. Okay, that works. What is the minimum value of this function? So all you have to do is really think. The vertex is the minimum. It's down here. So you're going to need the coordinates of the vertex. So just count the vertex. It's 1, 2, and then it goes down. How many does it go down? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this. But the value is going to come from the y-coordinate. Um, you would think maybe 2 has something to do with it, but it doesn't. The minimum value is negative 10. So let's go ahead and put in negative 10 and see what we get. Okay, that works. What is the equation of the axis of symmetry? They keep giving us easy ones like this. But it's, it's straight down the middle, so it's going to be x equals 0 again. 
All right, now we've got a little something different. It says find the y-intercept of the parabola y equals x squared plus 7x plus 5. Well, if I were to graph it on my graphing calculator, I have a pretty good feeling that it's going to look something like, well, nothing like that at all. It's going to look more like this, okay? And then it's going to cross right here. All I have to do is, is find that point when I graph it on the graphing calculator, but the point is going to be 0, 5. There's also an easier way, which I did mentally, to figure out how to graph it. Um, just plug 0 in for x, because anytime you have a y-intercept, x is always going to be equal to 0. So just do y equals 0 squared plus 7 times 0 plus 5. Well, everything cancels, but the 5 coordinate. So that's pretty easy. The y-intercept is just going to be 5. Okay? Find the equation of the axis of symmetry for the parabola y equals x squared minus 6. Well, you're going to want to graph it maybe. So if we graph it, it looks a little something like that. Okay. And you might see that it's symmetrical right on the y-axis. You might not. There's another way to solve this. The formula for axis of symmetry is x equals negative b divided by 2a. So you could identify your a, b, and c from this equation. So a equals 1 because there's it's x squared, so it's 1 in front of the x squared. b equals 0 because there is no x in the middle. And then c is negative 6. So um, your equation would be x equals negative 0, which is just 0, divided by 2a. Well, a was 1. So 0 divided by 2, that equals 0. So I know my equation for axis of symmetry is going to be x equals 0. And that's going to check. Alright, this one's a little bit different because the values are different. So on this one, it's y equals x squared plus x. Identify a equals 1, b equals 1, and c equals 0. The equation x equals negative b divided by 2a. B is a 1, so we do negative 1 divided by 2 times 1. And then that's going to give you negative 1 half. So the axis of symmetry is going to be x equals negative 1 half. Okay, that should be enough to get you pretty much going. Uh, you'll, you'll probably, uh, with that kind of knowledge, get up to at least 78 or so. And then you can keep going as high as you uh, need to go. All right. Thank you for listening.